Alright, hello folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Illusion of Gaia. Today will be the finale, and it will be a two-part episode. So the dark space has some information for us. The comet draws near. The time for your last battle approaches. This is the last time I will talk you like talk to you like this in this place. With your rejuvenated power, defeat the comet Dark Gaia and become the Dark Knight. Okay, I thought that was Batman. Anyway, Shadow's greatest pirate is the Firebird. Well, it's not Stravinsky. Will arise when you're one with the Light Knight. Who's that? Only you can restore the Earth to its original condition. I'm putting all my faith in you. Alright, yes, let's record. Then go. Let's go! Another shadow. Here we go. Oh, there's a wan, worn out body. <laughs> In his head, a familiar voice speaks. Will, it's me, Oldman, your father. My body is decayed, but I live on like this. Are you, why are you in that form? There's a strange room in the Tower of Babel filled with the light of the comet. Time goes so fast there that people evolve very quickly. Why are Kara and I able to live? Because you two are evolved humans, huh? Oh, Kara this time has just been a whiny little brat. How is she an evolved human? Us? Yeah, exactly. Long ago, there existed biological technology using the, the light of the comet. Yeah, the jackal was explaining that to us. People freely used the power to make plants and animals. For example, they made the camel. It can go for long periods without food or water. When people realized the power could be used as a weapon, demons were developed. The world was on the brink of ruin. At that time, the nights of darkness and light were developed to decide the fate of humanity. They're your ancestors. The six mystic statues were made by the knights. Okay, well, we've only got five of them. Oh, the last mystic statue is entrusted to you. Oh, okay. There it is. I was going to say it was a free mystic statue, but we did have to defeat a boss Scotland to get it. Soon the comet will be very close. By then, the two of you must go to the roof of the tower. Close your eyes. Just like the band Zebra. Close your eyes and sleep tonight. The song Lullaby. Yeah, my dad used to have that cassette way back in the day. Will's father. The ancients worshipped the comet as a spirit. Okay. Those who bathed in the comet's light were given a strange power. The comet is called a spirit, but it's an unwelcome spirit. I thought a comet was a bunch of rocks or something heading some, somewhere. Evolving too fast brings destruction. Of course, yeah. Yeah, like if you bake a cake too quickly, it'll explode. As long as people have evil hearts, demons will be born. We'll open your eyes and look around. Oh, okay, nice. Let's go talk to these things. Neil's mother. Okay, even if I can see the real world, I can't touch it. Well, no matter how difficult it may get, I can't help you. Well, too bad, so sad. Neil's father. Neil, what are you doing? I want him to make the Rolex company grow bigger and bigger. Well... Yeah, I've heard of that company. Ah, Seth, I thought you were Riverson. How, why are you a spirit? It's been a while. Such a world. If I could talk of this at an academy, I'd be a great scholar. Well, yeah, like the first scene of the game when you were... I was but the learner. Now I am the master. Okay. Oh, yeah, we talked to him last. With my body gone forever, I became forever young, just like Mel Gibson. Okay. From the common slight, I gained immortality. But is there a meaning in eternal life? I felt more alive when I had eternal disease. Interesting uh, point of view. 
but I can see it. Oink, oink. Of course there's no difference between humans and animals. Karen doesn't say anything, so now you can talk to Will's father. At last, the time is near. The time is now! Give Will your power. Just like in like Final Fantasy 3, Final Fantasy 7, uh, Final Fantasy 9. And Will and Karen joined forces and became one with the Light Knight. A great power was born. Ah, okay. See, that's why she was able to get in. She had the light blue ring and I had the dark blue ring or something. So, with our powers combined, I am Captain Planet! Or, I could use the Firebird or something. Your battle will change the fate of humanity. You must go to the Comet! To the Comet, Batman! Yeah, this thing kind of looks like a peace symbol minus the circle around it. And the green, well, greenish, maybe? I don't know. Whatever, folks, I'm partially colorblind. Alright. Got a. What is that? The, the man on the moon or something? You don't want to get hit by those things. Woo! That was close! This is the easy part of the fight. Oh crap, but I got hit. Dope. That was close. Alright, now, for this part, alright, what you want to do is stand back, shoot at him, God, it's only got two two bars left, folks. Got him! Yay! What's happened to the comet? This is all old auto scroll, by the way. That glowing green planet. The Earth is green. The comet's power has disappeared. The evil star has flown off to the other side of the universe. Okay, good. I'll have to deal with that thing for a while. Do you know what planet that is glowing there in the darkness? Well, it looks like Earth to me. Our Earth? Yes, you're correct, Will. That's right! What do you win? 
Doesn't it look like a desert oasis? Not really. It's never seemed so beautiful. Oh, okay. But it looks lonely shining in the dark. Whatever the strange voice is, yes, the world is awakened. Mother? Will's mother says, The earth, a mother with millions of children. Guess that's us. I'm sure you think about us sometimes. And Kara often thinks about her parents. The earth is the same way. She gets lonely if her children forget about her. Okay. I'm not an environmentalist, sorry. How is it, you two? Looking at the world you live in from the outside. It's as if we'd become spirits. Okay, I can see that. I want to show all of our group. No, 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 no. I want to show everyone in the world. Someday, people will build ships to travel the universe. Well, so far, we've only built it to the moon, and that's it. Then they will see this green earth with their, excuse me, with their own eyes. See how lonely the earth looks? Just like the two of you. You know what a boy and a girl could do in lonely areas and stuff, but this is a family show. Look carefully at the map of your world. Okay, this is quite interesting coming up here. Ah, the map has started to change. Ah, okay. That's the earth. Okay. Next, okay, uh, we get five little blobs. Okay, still got five blobs somewhere. Okay, starting to look a little familiar. A little bit more so. There we go. That's more like it. Somehow the land has taken on a strange shape. No, it's not strange. It's what I'm used to, folks. That's the new world. The new world order that I have ushered in. The new world, yeah, that's what um the the boss from um the Anchor Watt was saying. The path of evolution changed by the comet has continued until now. Okay, so we stopped evolving. Okay, sweet. The Earth too has a life. No, it's not. It's rocks and stuff. It too has evolved and changed its shape. Rocks and magma. Now that, that the comet has no influence on the world, it's returned to its original condition. Okay, so this is the original map. Yay. None of this Pangea crap that evolutionists like to talk about. Why do you two know the future? We're psychic! When I lost my body, I started seeing everything. Okay. The past, the future, humanity's progress. 
Maybe people would call this kind of body a spirit. I would. What does Shira have to say now? Now you and Kara can become ordinary children again. Yay. I don't like all the save the world crap. Don't be afraid. When we return to Earth, will we be separated? Yes. The world is changing. Humanity and history have started down a new path. You too thought nothing of it when you met each other in South Cape. But when the Earth needed the light and dark nights, was the sounding very Terra Enigma ish? You met again unexpectedly. Aha. Uh -huh. The light arc and the dark arc. Let's look at the world before the power of the comet is extinguished. Oh, so the power lingers on for a little bit. Okay. We hope you two have a bright future. Bye bye Will, come here. Show me your face. I like this part. I want to burn you into my memory. Your eyes, your nose, your mouth, your hair, your voice, and this is a family show, nothing else, the warmth of your hand. Okay, except for that. You can do that. Don't worry. I will search you out. No matter how long it takes. Hundreds of years, maybe. Thousands of years. Tens of thousands of years. Millions of years. I will come to you. So take care. Close your eyes and sleep tonight. Just like Zebra. Will... We're gonna get a kissy kissy. Let's go to Earth again. Mm, Earth. All right, let's go. Sh the shadow knows. Yes, Alec Baldwin, the shadow knows. Oh, this is what the Earth looks like now. Just like what Anchor Watt Spirit showed us. The Earth's look had changed, but glowing in the sky, it was as beautiful as ever. Buildings replaced trees, or no, the forests. Rivers became roads, but the villages held on only smiling faces. Yay. Smiling faces are good. But the earth was the only one that looked sad. Tomorrow morning, Kara and I will start our new lives. I guess this uh, uh, quintet folks, they don't like um, 
Uh, progress. The Tower of Babel stands tall as if it knows the whole future of the Earth. At least this gives you plenty of time to read it. has the ending of a Final Fantasy sound to it here. Alright, the staff. Okay, folks. Sorry, I was yawning there. there there's the Professor Neil and Eric and Seth. Alright, Scarlet O'Hara uh, with the original story. Okay, um... Yeah! Um, to go in order from Soul Blazer, Illusion of Gaia, and Terra Nigma in that order. This was a good middle step for, for Quintet. They actually had a, a better story, even though the word better might be debatable. I love that castle in the background, though. Um, plot wasn't its strong suit, I must be honest. It was a fun game. Uh, it wasn't as like um, fun as Soul Blazer for me. Um, so to me, this is the worst of the three games after playing through it. That's just my personal experience. To me, this is the hardest of the three games by far, in my opinion. Um, Soul Blazer. Um, some of the bosses could be somewhat challenging, but it wasn't that hard overall, I don't think. It was easier overall. Though, the only hard thing, secrets-wise, in this game was the Red Jewels. The rest of the game, at least you didn't have a whole bunch of hidden things that you had no clues to where they were, like in Soul Blazer. But Terra Digma, to me, is just the best of the three games. I love the... They had... More side quests, more mini games. You did have the Wacka Snake thing towards the end, but that wasn't much of a mini game. Um, music was good. Music was good. I can say that about this game. I like the music in this game better than I did in Soul Blazer. Music in Terra Enigma, though, is just fantastic. Terra Enigma, my best. Soul Blazer, second best. This is my least favorite of this uh, trilogy. But, it, but I did finish it. I wanted to finish it. And I did. And overall, I, it was a good game. It just wasn't as good as the other two for me. No, um... No Tim Woolsey? I think I made that reference um, when I did Soul Blazer. So, yeah. What else to say about the game? In addition to the Resurrection component had more of an evolution component in this, unlike the other two games. Even though you had some of that in uh, Terra Enigma, but it wasn't as heavily focused on as it was in this game. You had a whole bunch of dead weight in this game carrying you carrying around, yet they didn't do any fighting. So I didn't care for that so much. They didn't really do anything. I mean, Neil invented things. But Kara was a spoiled little brat. Eric, he got captured as a slave. Seth got eaten by Riverson. Um, wasn't much to it in terms of what use the side characters had in this game. He tried to force a love story on us, but I wasn't feeling it. I'm sorry, I just wasn't. Um, however, uh, still somewhat fun, I suppose. Uh, this was shorter even than my Soul Blazer Let's Play, I think. I think Soul Blazer was 26 and I had 36 
episodes of um, Terra Enigma, so this game to me was even shorter than Soul Blazer. Okay. I think this is what, like 23 episodes, I think? I haven't uploaded the last uh, two. Oh, 22 episodes, that's it. Yeah, I was going to split this up into two episodes of the finale, but this video's not even 30 minutes old. So why not? Dan Osen, I've seen that name before in, uh, I think, Soul Blazer. Soul Blazer credits. Um... But I do like some of these background shots here at the end of the game. Let's see, what else to say about this game? I wasn't sure if I was going to get a different ending if I did the Jeweler Gem side quest before ending the game. But I guess not. Getting the same ending. Mas Masaya Hashimoto. Very Japanese based game. There's the king and queen. Um, I don't know what else to say about it. Um. Terra Nigga was my very first Let's Play that I ever did on this channel. So, um, my technology, I didn't have an editor, or I should say editing software, until very late in that game. So, that was roughly done, but still, you should check that out. That was a heck of a game. And we didn't get a North American release for that like we did Soul Blazer and Illusion of Gaia. Um, so this was 94, Soul Blazer was 92, and Terra Nigma was 95 or 96. So the way this stuff, there's the Jackal, bastard. He fried in the end, had what was coming to him. Here comes Hamlet, yay, both her pet pig and my mom. It's a weird quinkity ink. Winkity oink. License to Nintendo. Brought to you on an emulator today, folks. Music is great, though. I, that's the best thing that this game has going for it. Thanks for playing! But you know, with these kind of things, we always have to have a um, a little side story thing, as like we did in Final Fantasy X. So here we go. This is over. That sounded more like hammering something than a, than a school bell. Please be careful. Crossing the street. Didn't have to worry about that in the South Cape. This looks so much different than it does in South Cape, folks. But at least we end the game where we began. In school. We've had a lot of traffic accidents lately. There's the gang in. Kara! We did meet in the end. I don't know how many hundreds or thousands of years it was, but that is the end of this LP, folks. Um, so, it's been a while since I've done any sports content, and I'm waiting for Madden to come out, the news Madden. I'm going to do something a little bit different than I've done in previous uh, sports Let's Plays, or playthroughs. Um, I plan on actually getting the game you know, pretty early, and uh, when the regular season starts, um, for the sports, I actually plan on doing, since I'm a 49ers fan, actual game day play 
of actual real games in real life. So that's going to be a little bit different. That's what I'm going to be doing with the sports. And um, FIFA comes out a little bit later, but I think I can still pull it off with Liverpool games. So I think we're going to do that for the sports for a very long time because I, I don't know what else to play sports-wise that I have access to. Oh, well. Um, and I'm probably... And I do have another couple of ideas for JRPGs in the meantime. Also, I'm thinking about doing some smaller, um, more of a classic video game in between. I don't know, we'll find out to see what's coming on the channel, on the Quarter Ass Gaming channel. Till the next playthrough, take care folks.